Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Friday, July the 24th. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's 9.13 a.m. And I've got two, sh two things to report to you. Two videos to share. Let's put it that way. This first one is more of a report. It's called July 22nd. 2020 apartment building locked down in California. It's by Hard News TV. She says where news is like archaeology and we're digging for it. Or the truth is like archaeology and we're digging for it. And that's exactly how I feel. Let me give that a thumbs up before I forget. Anyway, oh, it's 111. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let me find the part where she reads this letter. I'm going to let her read it to you. Let's see if this is it. Must quarantine. Wow. It must be nearly the whole video. It's not even a very long video. All right, let's try here. They did in Melbourne. No warning. Dear residents, due to the recent COVID-19 virus outbreak at the Palms Building, the Ventura County Public Health Department has ordered mandatory COVID-19 testing and quarantine for all residents. Okay, it's their personal house. Okay, this is where they live. They are in their own personal dwelling and being told they have to comply with the mandatory testing. Right, this is a, an apartment complex. Apparently it's pretty nice because they have a common area inside. Because later she it talks about no smoking. These are non-smoking units and no smoking will be allowed in the commons area. Okay, that that's coming up later on. I just wanted to let her read this beginning. Now, when's it going to leave apartment buildings and when's it come into a residential to your house? Mandatory COVID-19 testing will be at the Palms Community Room on Friday, July 17th between the hours of 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. All residents residing at 137 South Palm must be tested for the COVID-19 virus. After testing has been completed, all residents must quarantine in their unit until their test results are received. More information will be provided as it becomes available. Now, see, they're just targeting the uh, apartment complex right now because they're easy to control. Mm -hmm. But what's going to happen when the military starts rolling down neighborhood streets? Okay, I'm going to stop it there. It goes on to read more, and then she talks about the no smoking and what happens when you're two. She says, I don't smoke, same as me. But you, they can't even go out the front door. They can't go visit a neighbor through the commons area. I don't know how it's built, how that is. If it's an indoor place and the apartments are built around it, uh, it's possible. Uh, but it sounds like they're going to have testing in this room. So there must be like a, a clubhouse type. I've lived in a place that had a clubhouse. You had to leave your apartment, go down the street like you were leaving to get to the clubhouse. But <clears throat> theirs must be built around their clubhouse or something, whatever they're calling the commons area. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you from Hard News TV 2. And I will put the link in the description box. And it is called July 22nd, 2020, apartment building locked down in California. Okay, now, this other one, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get a sip. 
<laughs> All right. Someone sent me this in the email, and I'm not 100% sure she's 100% right, but I still wanted to share it with you and let you watch it, and just so you could pray about it and see, because I'm not familiar with this person. Her name is Brenda Weltner. If, if you've heard of her, maybe you already know what she's teaching and not to watch it. If so just leave a comment if you know her and what you think. But this is a 36 minute video and 58 seconds. It's called Asteroids, Israel, War, September, Rapture. Okay? So she's tying all of that into this. Her timeline, she's drawing out and showing when each thing will happen. Begins with the Revelation 12 sign that she's using. Remember when Scotty Clark and then some others followed suit with September 23rd, 2017? Uh, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. Three years ago. She ends up drawing that to end in April. April 21st, 2021. And that's the midpoint of the seven years. Well, I have come to believe that we are in the first three and a half years. Because... The, the Bible is clear that when the Antichrist receives his power from Satan, he is not Satan. He, is, he receives his power from Satan, becomes the world leader for the new world order. How close are we to that? And then he has 42 months to do his thing. To get the temple built so he can sit in it and all that. Right? Temple's not built yet. But I think we're really close. Alright, she starts off talking about how that revelation sign that was said to be in 2017... That she puts one long day starting 921 through 923... Uh, I forget what feast that was. She talks about that. And then she goes on. She says the rapture is like the ninth of off. And the first one. She's talking about three raptures here. She says the sign of the dragon. And then there's the place where I've got it stopped. It's. Let's see if I go down further, if she's got a date under that. No, she doesn't. But on 928, she has D-O-F-A, capital A, dot A. Anyway, she's got an earthquake happening between the sign of the dragon which is Satan coming down and I wish I could remember what that stood for then she's got on October 3rd the first tab I don't remember what that was so I'm just trying to point out dates then she's got the 8th on the 8th I can't, I can't make out the writing. Shortly after that is another earthquake. Fourth seal. Maybe that's what she means by tabs. She's got wormwood written up there. Well, that would go along with the asteroids. Wormwood is like a mountain on fire falling into the ocean and making the water poison. All right, and she's got the 4T under that. Fourth. That wouldn't be the fourth. Oh, fourth trumpet. 
sorry, that's trumpet. Um, okay, then, then her head covers that up. Let me back it up. Okay, November, she's got, looks like Israel. No, it's some date, 1 through 4. November, the seals, 1 through 4. Okay, so she is showing and teaching and overlapping. And I've heard this before of seals and trumpets happening at the same time. And how the, the book is not in chronological order, which I knew that. The Lord told me that in a message. Whenever I would study this, I could not figure out how it overlapped, when one picked up, when some were still left to be done. So there may be credence to this teaching, and that's why I wanted to go ahead and share it so you could watch it, do your own praying and studying about it, because if this is true, and it very well could be, the first rapture is the ninth of Av. It, she said the third rapture is the day and hour that nobody knows, not even Jesus. That an angel will come and tell him when to come the third time. That's what she says. So, you know, the Bible does not have every things spelled out. We know that. Some of it's metaphorical. Some of it's literal. And these people who have studied it at great length, uh, she said, if none of this happened, she had said this in the beginning, if none of, if this starts to, you know, these dates start coming and going and nothing's happening. You can just toss everything I said in the trash because I do not have an alternative date. As much as I've studied, this is what I've come up with and there is no alternative date. She did, doesn't have one. That's how convinced, I guess, she is. But then we've heard this before of other people and the dates came and went. Still, I want to share it for your sake so you could have it to pray about and to be watching for. Okay? Don't you think that's fair? Because this is pretty phenomenal. How she's got all this happening by November. And the trumpets she's got for Halloween now. She's got Pit. Oh, the abyss is opened. And all them millions of demons coming out happens Halloween. And that's when November, then she says, I think she says it this way, all hell breaks loose. Well, we just saw another person prophesy about millions of demons being released. Was that Watch Woman? I am not sure. It might have been Julie Wedby that I shared. And I said, y'all let me know what you think. Well, somebody sent me my own video from 2017 where I had shared a video of Julie Wedby saying, I believe this, I truly believe this woman gets her messages from the Lord. So, I don't know where in between then and now I started having doubts, but it could be from a spirit of doubt because I have found myself, and I'm going to just be honest and up front and pull my leg out here because I'm sitting on it and it's not comfortable. Okay, here's the thing, brothers and sisters. I found myself doubting many prophecies like I'll hear it and I'll go that's not from the Lord he would never say that 
or that's not in the Bible, that just exactly what people were saying about all prophecy. And so they don't believe in any prophecy. Well, I never got on here and said that. I may have about one or two. Some of you... See, I don't think that Celeste Solemn is a prophet, okay? She worked supposedly for FEMA. Now, the guy on Fullerton Informer says she never even worked for FEMA. So who is Celeste Solemn? Was he guessing? Did he research her? Does he know that for a fact? How do we know for a fact? She did. That's not the same as saying this prophet or prophetess. Let's face it. If you're getting prophecy from the Lord, don't you think you're a prophetess or a prophet? Maybe you don't. You're too humble to take the title. But somebody was saying, and they were making fun of somebody saying, Now, I'm not a prophet. I don't claim to be a prophet. But I, oh, they were making fun of Pastor Dana because he said, I'm not a prophet. That's, that means you were never in a church where somebody laid hands on you and the Holy Spirit gave them utterance and said, the Lord said from this day on you shall be a prophet of his. And, they, and you received the title Many of us have not ever had that happen. And that is why we say, now I'm not claiming to be a prophet, but I do receive prophetic dreams. Or I do receive prophetic words. So you take it however you want. To me, it's just a title. And if people want to be humble enough to say, I don't claim to be a prophet of the Lord, but I do have prophetic dreams. Highly plausible or possible because the word says, and in the end times, in the end days, I will pour out my spirit on all mankind, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions, and that means everybody. The, the, the prophets. That, that was written by Luke and Joel in the book of Joel. We say Joel, 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 whichever you prefer. When I heard it pronounced Joel, I thought, you know, that makes sense because E-L, the Hebrews often used words ending in E-L <clears throat> like God is El Elyon, El, El Shaddai, El Ohim, because maybe Joel stands for son of, son of God or servant of God. And the mother wanted him named Joel so he would be a servant of God, and he turned out to be. I don't know what Joel means, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm just going to end this here, and I'm going to say that every that God be found true, and every man a liar. That's a that's a scripture. We're all subject to error. I do not believe we hear wrong. I do not believe we receive a prophecy. From God and hear it wrong when I was getting messages from the Lord I heard them in my thoughts loud and clear and I wrote them down exactly the way he told me and then when I got messages from a lying spirit like telling me if my daughter, if my sister let her daughters go to Mexico, they would be hurt by ISIS. They would be hurt. They would be killed. Okay. Well, that didn't happen. 
So clearly it was a lying spirit. And I had told the Lord, I don't want to hear any more messages until I know for sure. Somehow you show me, you tell me, you teach me how to know the difference. Because I didn't know the difference. Because it's coming through my thoughts. That's how we hear from God. Very few people get to hear audibly. Even then, Satan can come as an angel in, in disguised in light as a benevolent beautiful angelic person or or his demons his fallen angels they can all come like beings of light and good to give you a message and you believe it's an angel so you believe every word we have to take every single message to the Lord and pray over it before we jump on YouTube and make a video. I learned it the hard way. Okay? And we can't ever demand to know anything. I think that's how come I got that false message from the Lord and I do believe it was false. I don't believe the rapture will be another year away. That July 17th, although God said, I am sending my son on July 17th to rapture his bride. Is it possible he sent him here and he's walking among us? I don't know. I'd just rather say that was not from God and I know he'll understand. And I have had this this problem at least since then of believing others are hearing from the Lord can you blame me I thought from the time the Lord started giving me messages again like on the second the two raptures you might say, well, how do we know you really heard from the Lord then? I'll tell you how I know. Because for three days, I was tortured with thoughts. Who do you think you are? I mean, they were coming to me like I'm thinking them. Who do I think I am to deserve to hear from the Lord a message like that? A message so phenomenal nobody's gonna believe me that's how the thoughts come they don't come like nobody's gonna believe you because then you know the the thoughts are coming from somewhere else the thoughts come as if you are thinking them this is how you know the difference when it's uh, well this is how Satan operates when he has a demon putting thoughts in your head, you think they're coming from yourself. Saying things like that. that Who in the world is ever going to believe me? How did I ever think I was hearing from the Lord? What if nothing I got was from the Lord? What if it was all lies from the devil? Everything I've put up on YouTube... I should just take it all down and just get off YouTube like Lori said. She had told me to get off YouTube. Or maybe it was after this. I mean, it might have been after this. But anyway, things like that was going through my head. Even to the point of, I should just kill myself. I'm not hearing from the Lord. He's not using me. And what is the point? What is even the point? And... Oh, poor pitiful me. I'm stuck here in this place. I can't do anything else for the Lord. Surely he loves me enough. He'll just take me on up. And things like that. So, three days. And I knew those thoughts were coming from the devil. Because they are, were not the type of things I would think. And I would just hold myself and cry out, Lord Jesus, please hold me. 
Don't let me do anything stupid. Please, God, please make these thoughts go away. Please make the, you know, I don't know if I rebuked demons. I don't know if I was pleading the blood. I don't remember. All I know is they wouldn't let up for three whole days. Now, why would Satan give me a message about two raptures and help me find scriptures about it and then start telling me stuff like that so I wouldn't share it and even possibly kill myself to keep from putting it up? There's no way that didn't come from God. I know it did, brothers and sisters. But sometime after that, maybe not right away, but sometime after that, it might have been from the, from the video about July 17th, I started doubting that anybody was hearing from God. Not anybody. Some of them I still believed. But many of them, I became very, very... Um, super discerning to the point where it was causing me to scrutinize every single word of every single prophecy I heard. And so I didn't share many, many of them. A few. I thought God told me to stop sharing any videos. Maybe because he knew my discernment was over the top. And I needed to learn to dial it back and accept the fact that not all prophecy is found in the Word of God, which I knew that. But for some reason, I had started thinking everybody's words have to be in the Bible. And if you dig hard enough, they usually are. But in the book of Daniel, he is told to, uh, how did, how did it worded, um, seal up this book for this information is for a time at the end. It, it is not for people to know now, in other words. And it was horrible stuff. It made him sick for three weeks. Do you remember that? I'm pretty sure it was three weeks. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say that because I apologize to all of you for not sharing everything. You would send me emails of this prophecy and that prophecy and this person and that person. And I, I was just too critical. And I want to repent of that. I have repented to Father. And I have told him I'm really sorry that I've been so critical of your prophets and your messengers, your servants, that I haven't shared them. And that was what you called me to do. But truly, the message I got to stop sharing other people's messages, it could have come from God because I was, I was, either I was oversharing and didn't have enough discernment. I can't remember how long ago it was. It's possible I was sharing anything and everything people sent me or that I found over here on my own or through my subscribers. I would get notified of them way back one day. I can't even tell you how long it's been since I've stopped getting uh, notifications of subs from that so-and-so has put up a video. And so... I haven't been watching them, so I don't know how that happened or why, or if it was YouTube, if it was because I 
quit getting on Google and that's where remember when we used to get on Google Plus and I stopped getting emails I clicked unsubscribe or stop email notifications from Google Plus because they were filling up my email box and that may be why if you're getting notified through the email it could be why I don't because I click don't send me email from Google Plus hmm could be so anyway I'm gonna end this here it's past 30 minutes now and that's long enough I hope I made my point so I'm going to put this video up once again. It's Brenda W-E-L-T-N-E-R if you can't see the description box and you want to look at this video. It's called Asteroids, Israel, War, September, and Rapture with a comma between each word. Okay. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and my internet connection, myself and my computer. And over each and every single one of you, your devices and your internet connections so you can watch them and we can stay together until we're out of here. And brothers and sisters, I hope this woman's right, at least part of it so that we can be out of here before all this comes and you know what I thoroughly believe that because I believe Luke 21 36 pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things and to stand before the Son of Man be ye holy for I am holy said the Lord and nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of God. Remember that. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.